very met an audience that was hungry for his music. He was the king of Elko and sold out every time. 1986, he recorded Cowboyography. Big hit. He recut the Ian Sylvia song, Summer Wages, a fan favorite. And then he landed a big hit called Navajo Rug, co-written with, co with Tom Russell. Tom and Ian also wrote a favorite of mine called Gallo de Sierra, for the Mexican boy and his buddy Rooster. Ian and Twyla got married that same year, and soon had a daughter, Adelita. Ian's people were in Longview and Elko, and many back roads in between where people had Ian Tyson cassettes in their trucks. A couple of times a year, Twyla and Delilah Miller put on Ian Tyson concerts in East Longview Hall, and all was sold out. To me, Ian was a compassionate, authentic writer of Western stories. With relentless precision and regionality, he wrote about people who were not that well known outside of horse circles. But if you happen to know the names and places, the songs are pretty special. If you didn't, you got a quick lesson on the rest. In 2005, Ian was invited to play Four Strong Winds in Edmonton at the memorial of four young RCMP officers who were killed in Marathon. A few months later, Four Strong Winds was selected as the greatest Canadian popular song in the CBC radio contest. As a pillar of the Longview area, he used his celebrity status for conservation efforts in Alberta. Fighting the damning of the old man there in the late 80s. In 2006, he even joined the ranchers from the Rock and Pea Ranch and others to protect a Calgary oil company planned to grill on the eastern slopes. He rode the horses into downtown, into downtown Calgary to the steps of the Medulla Center, the Premier's office, to drive the point home. We were successful. When we, have, <clears throat> when we have trouble with the federal government wanting to purchase the OH Ranch for a military training ground, he and Oregon organized a committee with Joey Views and others to help put a hold on it. He used the word compatibility, and he had a reason behind every letter of that word why it shouldn't happen. This opened the door for Doc Seams to come in and keep it as a working ranch. Industrial development on the eastern slopes. He encouraged his protege, Corp Lund, to continue his opposition to coal mining on the eastern slopes. With the help of Corp Lund, Paul Grant, the Rock and Pea Ranch, John Smith, and Laura Lang, and others, this process is now remission. Over the years, he received so many awards for his talent, his way of life, and his beliefs. I know I'll miss some of them, but to name a few. 1992, he and Sylvia were inducted into Country Music Hall of Fame. 1994, he received the Order of Canada. 2003, he received the Governor General Performing Arts Award. 2006, he received the Alberta Order of Excellence. 2012, he's been Parade Marshal for Calgary Stampede. 2016, the Black Aces Award for Supportive Role in Truck Wagon Racing. Ian was the last recipient of this prestigious award. I'm sure along the way he must have met Dean Martin and given the words to, I did it my way. Because that was the way he handled most things in life. To quote George Canyon, Ian has been on my heart lately as I work on my upcoming Americana album talking to Corp Blonde about protecting our grasslands. We get to a place in our lives when we realize what is truly important and Ian's legacy will live on forever. Ian leaves behind his son Clay in Ontario, his daughter Adelita and husband Hunter and granddaughter Mesa in Texas, and four nieces from his sister Jean's family. Ian will be missed by all here today and his many fans as we say goodbye to a legend. And we extend our sincere condolences to the Tyson family. I'd like to thank all the people who helped me put this together. Adeline and Kay, Chris Goss, who owns this venue, Cub Wright, Newman Schultz, and Billy Melvin. One of Clay's quotes, Ian afforded Clay the opportunity in the West to meet so many friends, and for that he's eternally grateful. Thank you.